Good morning or good good day po sa ating lahat. Today are we are going to discuss about empathy versus sympathy. Yeah, what is the difference between these two? Yan. So for today po, um madalas talaga na pagbabaliktad na lilito tayo. Kung sympathy ba or empathy yung ipinapakita nating concern sa mga tao sa paligid natin. No, madalas po itong dalawang word na ito we incorrectly use no in in um using in conversation no oy nakikising pa kaya ako madun. um but these two words meron silang pagkakaiba at merong magkaibang emotional impact sa taong pinapakita natin ng concern now what we have discussed last week is empathy now uh, balikan lang at natin ang empathy po ay ang kakayahan ng isang tao, the ability of a person to actually feel. Maramdaman mo yung pain na nararamdaman ng tao yun. Um, Kung baga, they literally walking a mile in their shoes. no? Putting yourself on others' shoe. And you will know what their pain or their struggle na kanilang kinaharap. Ang sympathy, it is just a simple expression ng concern natin sa ibang tao, lalo na sa kanilang misfortune. Okay? For example, nakita mo yung kahabag-habag na pulubi. Okay? Um, kapag sinabi mong sympathy, ma- maaaring express mo naman through words like, ay kawawa naman siya, wala siyang bahay, wala siyang tahanan. Yung empathy, you've been there before. No? Uh, kaya maalam mo yung pain na nararamdaman niya. Taken to extremes, meron pong, um, kumbaga, pag ikaw ay sobrang or deeply expressing your your empathy towards other people, meron po siyang um, harmful na effect sa ating emotional health. Last, last time na sabi natin yung... Um, magkakaroon ka ng low-level depression or generalized anxiety. Later on po, mayroon po kayong uh, uh, madidiscuss natin yung pathological altruism. Now, kapag sinayo mo namang sympathy, sympathy is a feeling and expression of concern for someone which is accompanied by wishing them to be happier or better off. Like, for example, if you saw someone suffering in a sa cancer, mas pwede sabihin mo na um, sana gumaling siya. Okay, you wish them to be better. no? Sana malagpasan niya yung kanyang problema. Those are expression of concern. no? Na uh, you don't wish for someone na mas grabe pa. Ako, mamatay ka na sana. Hindi ganun, di ba? Sympathy eh. Dinadamay natin sila sa magitan ng expressing them to be better off. Now, in general, sympathy em implies a deeper, more personal level of concern than pity. See, ang pity po, a simple expression of sorrow lang. No? Uh, nakita mo na may isang nadisgrasya, ay, kawawa naman. Yan nga, simply expression of sorrow. Pero yung sympathy, meron kang expression of that person ay mas uh, gumaling, ay, di ba, gumaling na siya, doon siya nararamdaman niya, or malagpasan niya yung kanyang pain na pinagdadaanan. However, sa empathy po kasi, madala, madala, uh, pag i-compare natin siya sa sympathy, sa empathy, may shared emotions. You have been in that situation before that you know the feeling. Alam mo yung pakiramdam. Kaya sabi natin, you put yourself in other shoe, alam mo yung pakiramdam. Sa so, sympathy, it doesn't mean na may shared feeling. Uh, hindi mo pa napagdaanan before, pero you show concern and you express that concern which is to make that person feel better. Nag-gets natin ang kaiba nila. Sa empathy, ma, ma, naranasan mo na yung ganong situation, yung pain before. Kaya alam mo yung nararamdaman niya. Kaya sabi natin, di ba, parang perspective taking. Alam mo yung magiging reaction at pakiramdam ng taong nasasaktan. Kasi, naranasan mo na before. Pero sa sympathy, it is not like that. You just showed your um, concern by wishing them to be happier or to be better off. In pity naman, nag, 
nag-express ka lang ng sorrow, no? nalungtot ka para ganun, para sa kanya. Now, if we are going to uh, look deeper or yung kanyang history ng word na empathy, ang empathy ay galing or ang kanyang root word ay from German na, na term na Ian Fulling. I don't know if I'm, uh, they are sure, Ian Fulling kasi trinay kong i, 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 pakinggan yung kanyang uh, pronunciation. Sa German word na Ian Fulling, pag translate mo into English word, feeling into. Okay? According to Edward Teschner noong 1909, isang psychologist, ah, uh, ang simply definition of empathy or feeling into ay the ability to recognize, not only to recognize, but to share another person's emotion. So, hindi mo lang alam or na-recognize na ang tao isang ay malungkot or may nalaramdamang pain or struggle. Kasama din doon na may shared emotion. Okay? Alam mo yung pakiramdam at nalulungkot ka sa kanya or... Halimbawa, ikaw ay nakapasa sa board exam. No? Uh, may taong nakapasa, nagiging masaya ka para sa kanya. Alam mo yung excitement, yung feeling of happiness. Kapag emotion naman, negative emotion naman, yung pain, your sorrow, the, the problems, situations na kinakarap niya, ramdam mo din. So, empathy requires the ability to recognize the suffering of another person. from their point of view. Kaya nga sabi ko, put yourself in others' shoe, no? And then openly share their emotions, including painful distress. Kaya nga, yung, yung body reactions natin when um, someone, uh, a friend of yours, tap, uh, meron siyang struggle, napapayakap sa kan- ka sa kanya, napapaluha ka doon sa nararamdaman niya. Yung empathy po, usually nakakonfuse tayo kung sympathy ba siya, pity, and compassion. Magkakaiba yan. No? Ang pity, um, kumbaga, sabi natin, naawa ka sa kanya at uh, naiisip mo na hindi niya deserve yung ganong klase ng pangyayari sa kanya. Um, yung pity shows lower degree of understanding and engagement of suffering uh, person situation than emphasis, empathy, sympathy, and compassion. Kung baga, sa, pag sinayo mong pity, no, uh, nakita mo isang tao nagsasuffer, kakawawa siya. Ganun lang. Uh, hindi, hindi, hindi niya deserve yan. Pero pag sinayo mong sympathy, uh, gagawa, pag nakakita ka ng na isang taong may pain or struggle, sa kawawa naman siya, sana malagpasa niya yung gano'n. Pero pag empathy, gumagawa, naramdaman mo na before, ah, alam ko yung feeling niya, kasi ganyan din ako dati. Gano'n. Pag compassion, iba rin, gumagawa ka na ng action to help other people. Now, compassion is a deeper level of empathy. Ito, demonstrating the actual desire to help the, per- the suffering the person. Like we have discussed yung the parable of the Good Samaritan, di ba last time? Yung tao, nung nakita niya, he took pity on him. Nakita niyang kawawa siya. Uh, nilag- uh, hindi na siya agad-agad nagpakita ng sympathy na sana maging okay siya. Hindi ganun. Automatic gumawa siya na action. Tinulungan niya yung tao. Compassion pong tawag natin doon. Halimbawa, nung nakakita ka ng isang kulubi doon sa kalsada, nakita mo kawawa siya. Pag gumawa ka ng parang like nag-abot ka ng bariya, that's automatically compassion. Kasi you have the actual desire, demonstrating your actual desire to help that person. It requires a shared experience doon sa empathy. no? Generally, kapag empathy po, ito ay para sa human being lamang, not for animals. no? Yung sympathy, pwedeng Uh, sa animals, no? Like, uh, limbawa, no, may aso ka na, na, na nasag, nasagasan, ng bahagya, okay, nagsasuffer yung aso mo. Sasabihin mo, I empathize, I, I sympathize with that dog, no? This is example natin. Uh, may be able to sympathize with a horse, for example. Like, kasi hindi, hin, yung empathy, shared feeling yan eh, hindi pareho ang Maaring halimbawa na natry mo nang masugat or masugatan bilang isang tao. 
Pero hindi pareho yung feeling mo sa aso na nasusugatan. Kaya nga, hindi pwedeng shared experience natin with other, um, ang tawag natin doon, species, di ba? Hindi pwede. Ang empathy, it is human to human. Ang sympathy, pwedeng human to animals, no? Kasi, kalimbawa, sympathy, hindi ka pa naman nagkasuffer ng na, uh, pain katulad ng aso or ng horse, no? Pero you can sympathize. Ikaw naman na may aso, na maging okay yung aso. Ngayon, may expression of, of um, saying that a dog or the horse, um, sana maging okay siya. Ang mga psychologist po say that empathy is essential forming in relationship. Like we have discussed last, last time, di ba? Crucial siya in um, positive relationship. Ayan, wait lang po. Now, uh, in acting compassionately towards others. So, uh, hindi lamang alam mo yung pakiramdam at alam mo yung pain, meron kang desire. No? Acting compassionately towards others. Desire to help other people. Since it involves experiencing another person's point, point of view, stepping outside oneself, no? empathy enables genuinely helping behaviors that comes easily. No? Madaling naubas sa atin and naturally. No, hindi tayo napapwersang, oy tulungan mo naman yun, hindi ganun, di ba? Like, may pumilit sa'yo na i-help ibang tao. Minsan, automatically, na once na na, na ikaw ay naantig, yung damdamin mo ay na, na-move doon sa situation, you easily help and naturally help a person. Hindi tayo pinapwersa. Okay? Now, uh, saan ako? Empathic people work effectively in groups, no? Make more lasting friendship and more like to step, likely to step in when they see others being mistreated. Halimbawa, yung barkada mo, no? Nakita mo na naagrabyado siya. Since you are very loving, probably you're a loving person or very concerned person sa mga kaibigan, tayo din, no? no pag may nakakaawa yung kaibigan natin, matik tayo din, um, nagkakaroon ng ng anger, uh, ng emotion na kailangan ipagtanggol natin yung kaibigan natin na mimistreat. No? It is believed that people begin to show empathy, empathy in infancy, pagkabata, no? And develop that trait through childhood and adolescence period. So dito daw, bata pa tayo, maaaring may, makitaan na tayo ng empathy, no? Ah, uh, Depende po sa kinakalakihan nating environment. Despite their level of concern for others, however, most people tend to feel deeper empathy for people similar to themselves. No, Yung halimbawa, no, kung ikaw ay mahirap, kapwa mo mahirap, mataas yung percentage na um, mas deeper yung empathy natin sa kanya. Katulad ni Manny Pacquiao, no? So, sabi niya na pagdaanan niya yung sobrang struggles of being uh, in 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 mahirap no? kaya sabi niya or mas gusto niyang tumulong sa mga may hirap no compared to people outside their family or community race ethnicity or cultural background yan so ano ba no uh, hindi mo uh, or halimbawa ako isang mahirap tas naawa ko dun sa mayaman na nadapa no para hindi more more likely those people na ka, katu kahalim tulad no no alam mo no sabi, sabi ko nga kung family members mo yung naagrabyado talaga makikipagpatayan ka no o kaya uh, halimbawa no pag nasa Manila ka salad bowl yan pag may nakita kang kalahi mo yun you agree with that person probably you empathize with that person kung saan yung similar no like if you pag napunta ka sa US, pag may nakita kang Asian na agrabyado dun, or may kawawa ka, nakita kang Asian na, na alam ba, ikaw ay Filipino, may Filipino dun na parang may pinagdadaanan. Gumagawa tayo ng parang para tulungan siya. Pwedeng kalahi, kafamilya, ka 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 kaibigan, ka-race mo, o pareho ng cultural background. Yan. So, meron po tayong tatlong types of empathy. Ah, uh, 
Sabi ni Paul Ekman, isang uh, doctor of philosophy, uh, siya ang pioneer ng field of emotions. No, Meron daw tatlong klase ng empathy. The first one is cognitive empathy. Like I have discussed last week, yung perspective taking. Dito, ability to understand and predict. Mapre-predict mo yung magiging reaction niya or yung thoughts nung taong yun kasi na-imagine mo yung situation na yun. Ito lang sinabi ko, pag nakikita kayo ng nadudulas, nasasagay yung alulod sa may edge ng bed or yung kukunyo nasagay niyo sa paan ng mesa, mapipredict mo kung ano yung mararamdaman niya. Pag sinabi naman nating emotional empathy, this one closely rel- related to cognitive uh, empathy. Emotional empathy naman po is actually feeling. no Yung kasi sabi natin sa cognitive, na predict mo yung feeling. Ah, alam mo in your mind na masasaktan siya, iiyak siya, alam mo sa mind. Pero dun sa emotional empathy, mararamdaman mo yung emotion niya. Okay? So, mapapaiyak ka din. Uh, magkakaroon ka ng, ng emotions na katulad ng nararamdaman niya. So, in emotional empathy, there is always some level of shared feeling. Kaya ito na, naranasan mo na yung, yung before. Kaya alam mo yung pakinandam. Al- uh, mararamdaman na yung pakinandam. Emotional empathy can be a trait among person with diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Um, later po, magiging assignment niya po ang Asperger's syndrome. Pangatlo is compassionate empathy. Huh? Uh, ang compassionate uh, Empathy naman is driven by the deep, deep, uh, deep understanding of others, other person's feeling based on shared experience. Compassionately empathic make uh, people make actual effort to help. Okay, uh, gumawa ka na ng parang gumawa ka ng action para matulungan yung isang tao. Yung emotional empathy, uh, nakikidalamhati ka, no? Doon sa nararamdaman niya. Yung compassionate empathy, gumagawa, gumagawa ka na ng paraan para matulungan siya to make that person feel better. Okay. So, in our story, the parable of the Good Samaritan, maaring yung priest and yung Levite, they showed pity or sympathy. Maaring ganon. Pero yung Yung Samaritan mismo, hindi lang siguro niya naki- nagkar- naranasan or meron siyang cognitive empathy, hindi lang emotional empathy yung naramdaman niya or pinakita niya. It is even compassionate empathy because gumawa siya ng paraan para matulungan actual efforts in helping to help other people. So tayo bilang mga natural sa atin, kung natural sa atin ang pagiging mabait, Once na gumawa ka ng action on helping other people, you show compassion to your uh, friends or relatives or the people around you. But if you don't make actual efforts, but you uh, um, feel what that person is feeling, then emotional empathy. Yun. Nagpapakita pa rin tayo ng empathy. But we don't really judge kung magpakita ka ba ng compassionate empathy, cognitive empathy, or emotional empathy. No, It is just that na-identify natin kung anong klase ng empathy ang ipinaportray natin sa mga pagpapakita natin ng concern sa ibang tao. Probably, kung family members mo, uh, close person to you, you show uh, compassion empathy. Um, kung hindi mo kakilala, probably, no, um, a stranger usually, we often show cognitive empathy. Kasi, napapredict natin yung may pakiram. Pag napapaiyak tayo sa mga movie movie uh, scenes like yung mga madalamhating eksena, yun, emotional empathy ang uh, napapakita natin. Meron pong dangers of empathy. Bako, akala natin, okay-okay lang ang mag-show ng empathy. Ang Dangers po ng empathy, like we have discussed last time, sabi natin, develop ka ng generalized anxiety or low-level depression or you will be uh, man- manipulate, manip- 
by manipulative people, they will make samantala sa kahinaan natin. Uh, yes, it is a good thing to show empathy. No? Uh, but, meron din siyang harm kung maaari tayong maranasan. Showing empathy, well, showing an empathic response to, to that tragedy and trauma of others can be helpful. It can also, uh, if misdirect, turns into what Professor James Doss had called emotional parasites. Ayan. Nagkakaroon tayo mga emotional parasites. What are these? Yung mga emotional parasites, no? Umaga, uh, ikaw, naghahanap ka na ng mga taong kailangan ng tulong at doon ka. Okay? Ang, di ba pag sinay mong parasites, for example, yung kuto, naghahanap ka ng dugo para masipsip. Ito, naghahanap ka ng kawawa para matulungan. No? Emotional parasites. Now, empathy can lead to misplaced anger. So, pwede ka rin magginalit. Empathy can make people ang angry. no? Perhaps dangerously so if they are mistakenly perceived that another person is threatening a person they care. For example, you are in... Or ito, meron tayong example dito. Uh, halimbawa... Uh, while at a public gathering, you notice a heavyset, casually dressed man who you think is staring at your if, For example, you have a pretend age daughter, no? Nagpunta kayo sa isang party and then may nakita kang guy na parang titig na titig dun sa anak mo. Okay? Now, while this man, nag, hindi naman siya gumagalaw, wala na expressionless, pero nakita mo lang siya na mukhang dangerous person lang siya. No? Uh, your empathic understanding of what he what he might no he might do something dangerous to your daughter no maaring mag-drive into state of rage no yung ang tao doon advance mag-isip no advance ka mag-isip akala mo eh irerepin na yung anak mo ganyan minsan dahil nga uh, miss nagpapakita tayo ng empathy for that person we care the mo no bones na eh? Kala natin, yung mga tao sa paligid niya ay maaring gumawa ng danger at maglilid ito sa galit sa atin. Okay? While there are Where, while there was nothing in man's expression or body language that should have led you to believe He intended to harm your daughter. Your empathic understanding was going on inside his head to kill there. Sabi dito. No? So, uh, meron pong isang therapist, sabi ni Jesper Jewel. Uh, sabi niya, yung empathy at saka si aggression, parang existential twins, no? Kasama ng pag-express natin ng empathy ay merong aggression. Katulad nung situation. Like, naging aggressive ka, nagpapakita ka na ng uh, galit dahil you, show, you are too concerned. No? Halimbawa, may ako yung anak ko. Minsan dahil ayaw kong makarana siya ng pain or ayaw kong madapa siya. Um, pag may mga batang nambubuli sa kanya, dahil ay, di ba parang ayaw mo, ay, yung anak ko, ayaw kong mafeel niya yun. Um, nagagalit ako doon sa mga kalaro niya na sobrang makukulit. Pagpapakita ako ng empathy sa anak ko pero nagagalit ako doon sa iba. So existential twins. Yung empathy natin nagiging kasama doon ay naging aggressive tayo. Okay? Now, um, empathy can drain your wallet. <laughs> sa madalas na pagtulong natin sa iba, we... Of course, nasa sacrifice yung ating financial resources, no? Sabi sa mga sa mga psycho na mga psychologists, no? Uh, if we are overly empathic, yan, may mga patients daw sila na overly empathic. We're in ang danger noon if you show too much concern by giving resources like you buy them food, you buy them Uh, whatever the needs that they have. Uh, 
yung life savings natin, yung pera natin naubos. Unlike if we are money packed yaw na maraming money to to give and to share to needy individuals, then that's good. But if we are not that kind of person like Manny Pacquiao, no? overly empathic tayo, pero sacrifice yung ating resources, naging kawawa tayo. No? Ayan, nagkakaroon tayo ng empathy-based guilt. No? Meron tayong tinatawag na survivor guilt. Ang survivor guilt po is a form of empathy-based guilt kung saan a person empathic person incorrectly feels that his or her own happiness has come at the cost or may have even caused another person's misery. Yung pagtulong mo, nag-cause ito ng um, misery or uh, struggle sa isang tao. No? Yung, yung ligayang pagdulot ng pagtulong sa'yo ay nag-cause pala ng danger sa mga taong tinutulungan natin. No? Ayon kay uh, Lynn O'Connor, isang psychologist, dito po yung mga taong um, laging may empathy-based guilt, they develop depression and later up. Mayroon tayo tinatawag na pathological altruism. So your assignment, please take notes to search and explain what is pathological altruism and yung Asperger's syndrome. So make sure you have to do your assignment of Um, paano, una, you have to define pathological altruism. Pangalawa, paano uh, nakakadulot ng harm ang pathological altruism sa mga taong nagpapakita ng empathy. Okay, so take note of this, you'll submit it sa class in. Okay, and then, last po, last na ba? Empathy can harm relationships. So, Sobrang bait mo, sobrang concern mo sa ibang tao, maaari din mag-lead ito sa uh, pagkakasira ng relasyon, no? Uh, magkaiba ang love, no? Uh, yung love natin tsaka empathy, medyo merong difference 'yan. Baka yung pagpapakita mo ng empathy, akala ng iba ay love na 'yon, no? While well, love can make any relationship good or bad better. Empathy cannot has in the end of strain relationship. Essentially, love can cure, but empathy cannot. Ulitin ko ha, love can cure, but empathy cannot. Kasi ang empathy, like you showed concern sa ibang tao, uh, it doesn't mean na matutulungan mo yung taong yun, no? Uh, it doesn't mean, I mean, it doesn't mean na uh, yung relationship Like, for example, yung nasirang relationship na, if you are boyfriend. Uh, halimbawa, nag-away kayo ng boyfriend, mag kayong mag-jowa, nag-away kayo. At talaga mag-break na kayo, for example. Iba, yung love lang i-express natin, tsaka empathy. Kasi sa empathy, probably kahit hindi mo naman, kahit hindi mo pakita ng love eh, but if you have concern, is equal to love, mag magkaiba po yun. An example of how even well-intentioned empathy can damage relationship. Consider the scene from the animated comedy series na uh, The Simpsons. Wait na po. Meron po sa The Simpsons, meron po eksena doon. Meron po sa The Simpsons yung eksena doon kung saan yung si Bart, ano siya, meron siyang failing grade. Ayan. So yung grade na yon pinakita niya sa father niya. Ayon kay Bart, sabi niya, this is the worst semester of my life. Now, Bart also experienced that. No? Uh, Nakaano din siya, na-experience na, na niya rin yung mabagsak at magkaroon ng feeling grade. Now, instead of uh, si dad niya, magpakita ng concern, yes, nagpakita siya ng empathy kasi naranasan niya rin before. He tries to comfort Bart kaya lang, ang sabi ni Bart is your worst semester so far. So, instead of helping that person, lalo siyang, lalong na ano, nalungkot si Bart kasi nga, ang sinabi ng tatay niya is your worst semester so far. Yan. So, akala natin yung mga sinasabi natin concerned ay nakakatulong sa ibang sa taon sa paligid natin. Pero hindi pala. Now, last po, empathy can lead to pathig. Yan. Yung empathy pathig. Patig yung tinatawag natin. Physical exhaustion of helping 
uh, other people. You may also, ito mga physical sickness na pwede nating maramdaman. Chronic illnesses. For those people who have uh, prolonged personal involvement sa mga taong uh, nangailangan ng tulong, they might uh, experience chronic illnesses, disability, trauma, grief, and loss of others. Okay? So, while mo more common among mental health counselors, sa mga health counselors, usually ganito po yung nararamdaman nila. An overly empathic person can experience empathy fatigue. No? According to Stenevsky, yung kinatawag nating high touch, katulad ng doctors, nurses, lawyers, teachers, they tend to suffer from empathy empathy fatigue. Yan. According to Carrie Bloom, no, Paul Bloom isang doctor philosophy. Uh, sabi niya, yung empathy daw, no, dahil sa dalas na pagpapakita natin ng, ng empathy is that due to its inherent dangers, people need less empathy rather than more. Yan. Ayon kay um, Bloom. So, ito po yung uh, mga mga effects ng empathy sa atin. Okay, so, if we compa compassionately empathize with other people, uh, maubusan tayo ng resources. If we always show emotional empathy, maaari tayong magkaroon ng mga chronic illnesses. But you have to be very careful in showing empathy, okay? So that's it for our discussion for today. I hope that you learned something. See you again next week po for our discussion. Make sure to do the activity that I have mentioned about uh, pathological altruism. You just have to define it and you have to explain what are the harms that or the harmful effect sa mga taong nagpapakita ng empathy doon sa uh, yung tinatawag nating altru uh, pathological altruism. Okay? So, have a nice day po and mag-iingat po kayo na. Bye-bye!